Hi everybody, my name is Quayla and today we're going to be working on this beautiful, beautiful gold and black gradient look. This is a full face makeup tutorial. Um, I'm going to just be talking over it and showing you guys and it's going to be a speedy process. I'm sped it up a bit but uh, it's still quite a long video so you might want to grab a blanket and a snack honey because it's going to be a long one. So starting out, we're just going to go ahead and throw our hair back in a ponytail, get it out the way so that we can work more efficiently. And I want to say hi to you guys uh, before we get started because it's going to be a long thing to do. First, we're going to start out with a Makeup Forever HD primer and we're going to put that all over the face. I've even actually put it over my eyes, uh, over my eyelids, etc, etc. Starting out, we're going to go ahead with the uh, concealer. We're going to conceal our eye with a lighter color. Um, and this is just so that the color can actually show up more vibrantly. And um, now we're going to go for our brows with a brow brush. And we're going to brow, uh, prepare our brows for uh, filler. And I'm just brushing those you know, right together. And I'm going to take this Maybelline Nudes palette. And I'm going to use this second, on the second color on the second row and the last color on the top row and I'm just going to use those two colors to fill in my brows. I'm also going to take this black pencil and fill in my brows using a pencil as well and I'm going to take that brush that I used earlier, the spoolie actually, and I'm going to um, clean up underneath my eyebrows with concealer. Um, and this color is considerably lighter than my skin. Um, it's just used so that the um, it looks like, uh, you know, I have a clean wax and, you know, cleanly, freshly shaped eyes. So first we're going to start out with the Color Tattoo 24 Hour by Eye Studio. It's a Maybelline product and the color is called Bold Glow. Gold. Bold Gold. We're going to use that color and we're just going to take it and apply it all over the eyelid. Um, and I'm just going to just take my time to... Uh, put this color onto the eyelid and we're going to fill the whole lid up. Next we're going to go in with our nudes palette and after we have put that bold gold all over the lid we're going to take the nudes palette and we're going to use this brown color here on uh, the second row, the fourth color, and we're going to use that as a transitioning color. Um, and we're just going to put that on the crease area and um, we're just going to really blend that color out and make sure that it looks really good for our transition color. You can use a blending brush for this process. I'm actually using a really large pencil brush um, and this brush is actually doing a really good job for me today so we're just going to use that. But any, any blending brush will do. And I'm just applying that color all over the lid, and as you can see, I'm kind of singing and having a good time with that. And um, just going right in. Now we're going to go back with that bold gold uh, color tattoo, and we're just going to apply that again over the lid. And we're going to make sure we blend that out into our transition color. And we're going to, you know, just kind of blend it up into the transition color and just kind of keep patting it down on the eye, on the eyelid, uh, to build that color and build that product. Now we're going to take the Maybelline Nudes palette and we're going to use that gold color on the second row, the third color, and we're just going to put that all over the lid as well. And we're really just building on this gold color and we're going to make sure that the building process creates a very beautiful stand out gold um, so that we can create this wonderful gradient effect. This is what it looks like right now at this point, but we have more to go, so let's go. All right, sorry guys, I'm really sorry. I ended up starting out with the black before I push record, but don't worry, I will show you what I'm doing now. So I'm taking that last black color in the nudes palette and I'm also taking a separate individual Maybelline color called Night Sky, mixing those two colors together and I'm putting that on the end, excuse me, in the corner of my eye eyelid. 
and I as you can see I'm staying right there in that corner I'm not really mixing out or excuse me blending into my crease and I'm just gonna take a pencil this is actually a cream based pencil and I'm just gonna kind of put just a little in that area in the corner and I'm just gonna blend that out now I think that this really helped to make the uh, black stand out a little bit to deepen the color and to also help the color that I put on it to stand out and I'm just gonna go ahead and just keep blending that color out um, as much as I can and again this is a gradient look so this is going to create the gradient look for this eyeshadow and we're just gonna keep blending it in with the gold and we're just gonna go back and forth. This is a really long process, ladies. Um, I have managed to get this video down to 21 minutes, but believe me, this video was way long. So this is not a quick everyday look. <laughs> this is definitely a look that you wanna use when you're going out somewhere, when you go into a nice ball, a dinner, or something, something special. This is not an everyday look but it take a lot of blending and a lot of, you know, a lot of time to do this look. But it was definitely worth it in the end because it turned out to be amazingly beautiful. And again, I'm just taking that gold and I'm just, just kind of making sure that I get that gradient effect. And the way that I'm doing that is by blending the colors into one another. And this is what we have so far. Just take that look. And so now we're gonna get right back into the blending process. I am using those two blacks and the pencil that I that you saw. I only added the pencil that one time, and again, it's just a continuing, ongoing blending process. This is really, this look was really all about the blend, all about the blend because it was the gradient effect, and we I really managed to get that by going back and forth with the gold and the black brush. And again, I'm back with the black brush. As you can see, I'm just going back and forth, switching off to create that effect. Right now I'm patting the black down. I'm not blending it, I'm just patting it on. And um, this is going to help to deepen the color in that area. Um, and just to kind of keep that color and just kind of to darken it up a little bit. And you really want to just kind of keep looking at it and just kind of keep going back and forth until you get exactly what you're looking for with this look. what I'm doing is just um, taking a, a lighter color gold and blending that into the inner tear duct and it's still a gold color but it's just a little bit of a lighter base than the other two colors that I was using if you have anything go ahead and use it and that would work just fine um, you could also use a really shimmery um, off-white beigey color um, and that would also create the look as well and now I'm just going in with a pencil on my lower lash line and, oh, excuse me, my water, my water line. And then I'm going to take this brush and blend that color onto my lower lash uh, underneath my lashes to complete the look and, and make sure that this uh, eyeshadow is a completely finished look. And I'm going to blend it together with the upper lash as well with the other upper lid colors as well and just blending that black out now I'm gonna take um, this and we're gonna do the same on the other eye and again we're going back on the other eye with that uh, with that brush and we're gonna blend it out Okay, so this is what we have so far, and the look is almost complete, but of course, there's more to it. 
So we're going to go ahead and grab this color and we're going to grab that gold color from the Maybelline Nudes palette and we're going to use that to blend uh, out the bottom lash. We're going to actually put that onto the lower lash and as you can see it just really kind of, as soon as you put it on there it just automatically just made that look pop and just really added something to that lower lash. And so that's why I really wanted to make sure that we completed the full look by doing the lower lash as well. And we're just going to blend that in uh, to the whole look. And don't worry about fallout or, or getting, you know, too much. Because later on we're going to go back and we're going to clean it all up. And I'm taking this brush. This is the brush that I've been using with the gold to kind of blend in the and transition, the gradient effect. And so now I'm going to take my concealer palette, the 15 color, and I'm just going to clean up underneath my eyebrows because the black, I kind of got it a little, a little bit too high, a little higher than I'd wanted it to. So I'm just going to go in with that concealer and I'm going to, you know, just kind of clean it up a bit so that it can look how I, you know, how I intend for it to look. I'm going to take my Fit Me uh, foundation, excuse me, pressed powder, and this is a number 340, and I'm just going to use that just to kind of make it that transition color. Following that, I'm going to take my Revlon Photo Ready Impressionist palette, and I'm going to use the top color for the brow bone. I'm going to use this for a highlight color, and this is actually a really perfect color uh, for this look, so I was really happy about that. And I'm just going to go on and just pat that into my uh, highlight color under my brow, and there you go. Now I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Fergie Gel Liner, and I'm going to line my eye uh, with my gel liner. And I'm really going to accentuate my eyes with this liner, um, and just really uh, line my full eye. And I'm going to make sure that I have the, the full shape of my eye, so just to kind of give that really sexy... Um, exotic look and I'm just going to make sure that I line the eye completely and I did make this a wing liner but um, you don't really have to if you don't want to it's not necessary either way this look is going to be beautiful okay so I'm gonna take my wipe I use the Pond's luminous clean wet cleansing cloth and I'm just gonna clean up underneath that eye that's why I said earlier don't worry about a mess because we're gonna clean it right up and there we go we're all cleaned up now I'm just gonna kind of show you guys what we have so far and I'm sorry the lighting has kind of changed a little bit um, but uh, I've also put on one lash onto one eye and we're gonna go in on the next eye and put on the other lash and uh, there I am putting the lashes on and these are kiss lashes um, I can't really remember what what uh, kind they are um, but they're kiss lashes and um, I really think that there was a, a good lash to use for this look. Now you just want to check your lashes and make sure your lashes are in place. Now we're going to go into contouring and highlighting, alright? Go ahead and get into that. First I'm going to start out with my contouring under the cheekbone. And actually uh, the color that I'm using is, is just barely dark enough so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of a darker color now and put that right over top of the first color and uh, make sure that we get that cheekbone looking really good and this is actually uh, a color from the 15 color uh, concealer palette and uh, they have really good colors in that palette I suggest you get one if you don't have one um, this is a cream based though it's not a it's not a powder based contour And I'm just really going to take that and put that underneath the jawline as well. And this is just going to give me a more chiseled look. This is going to make sure that I look uh, picture perfect, really. And then also, it is going to help to define my facial features uh, and, and make sure that my jawline looks well. And, you know, for those of you or us who have, you know, extra chins, that's going to help that too. And I'm just going to take that concealer and make sure that I go up into the temple area uh, in, this, in this location. This is a perfect area to uh, contour. 
and as you can see the concealer and overneath my brow bone excuse me overneath my brow it is actually kind of showing up a bit and I purposely did that highlight in that area uh, because I wanted to give my eyes just a bigger look and so I purposely highlighted over my eyebrows now we're gonna take our concealer and this is actually the LA girl pro HD concealer in toffee I believe and I'm just gonna take that and pull that down uh, the side of my nose and go all the way up to uh, basically near my temples um, underneath the eye and usually um, I'm also gonna put that on the cupid's bow and usually I use my finger to blend out my um, you know foundation or, con or concealer but today I'm actually not going to do that um, and I'm gonna put some up on my forehead um, to get that going um, but today I'm actually going to uh, as you can see the whole contour process today I'm actually going to use a foundation brush uh, but you can really see that I've taken a lot of time for this look um, I really put a lot of effort into this look because I wanted it to you know I wanted it to be beautiful and as you can see I have highlighted and contoured every area that you need that a girl needs to light and contour uh, you would think that I'm going to a photo shoot or something but I'm not so I'm just gonna blend that out and make sure that I get everything all blended properly and I want to go back with this stippling brush and I'm going to blend out those contours just a bit um, and just kind of prepare it now as you can see everything looks a little bit better I'm gonna go in with my fit me uh, dewy smooth poreless uh, foundation liquid foundation and I'm just gonna put that on the face with my fingers as I said before I usually uh, blend out my foundation with and uh, highlight or concealer with my finger um, and that just uh, as you can see I'm doing that now and what I'm doing is I'm actually patting very quickly uh, with my finger and also moving the foundation around my face but patting at the same time and this is perfect for just making sure that the foundation really gets into the skin um, to give it a really good finish and now I'm gonna go in with my powder brush and I'm just going to uh, excuse me with my foundation brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and just blend that out and now I'm going back in to blend out my contours and uh, taking that brush with the goal to replace any um, any eyeshadow that might have come off when I you know did my foundation concealer or whatever else I did really making that nose look chiseled and I'm gonna take my pressed powder this is a fit me in 340 I believe it's coconut and I'm going to just put that all over the place just to give me that matte finish and there we go ladies so now I'm gonna try this lipstick out and I don't really like it so I'm just gonna wipe it off and when I wipe it off I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use a brown liner line my lip and then I'm gonna go in with a black radiance lip gloss and I'm sorry I know that this is a gold lip gloss but I'm not sure what the color is but it's gold base um, and I think that looks much better than the pink that pink was not I was not feeling that pink and so I'm just doing a little brushing up and doing some bronzer into the areas and I'm going to take some orgasm by NARS illuminator and I'm going to put that in my highlight area and it really give my cheeks some light and there we go ladies this is my finished look and I'm going to take my hair down so you can see it all together fluff it out and the look is just about complete ladies just about complete oh don't forget to add your mascara ladies I kind of almost forgot so I'm going in on that bottom lash and making sure that I get that mascara to complete my look always want your look to be complete and you always want to remember your mascara honey even if you don't put on eyeshadow and I'm using the Maybelline uh, 
the big falsies i always talk about this uh, mascara because it has a dual brush it has a uh, upper lash and a lower lash brush and so i always love to use it and it, i just love the way that this mascara makes my eyes look really big and i just love the way that the uh it, it really really does great for my my mascara so ladies here we go i'm just kind of gonna show you guys an up close and personal and I really enjoyed making this video. I hope you enjoy it. I love this look. I think it's so beautiful. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to rate. Don't forget to subscribe. And please, ladies, try this look. But remember, it's all about the blending. This look was all about the blending, honey. Um, I really enjoyed making this video. And I love the look. And I actually left it on for quite a while afterwards. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Here I am in a couple of different lights. Um, and I want to show you guys just up close and personal look of this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed myself making this video. You guys enjoy yourself. Bye. Peace out. A double peace. Bye.